In this video, we're going to talk about using proxy workflow inside of Nuke. It's basically what proxy is, is it allows you to scale or, or format your original footage to another size. In most cases, it's usually a lower resolution that allow you to have better performance in larger scripts that say have multiple reads of like 10, 20, 30, 100 even reads of maybe 4K footage files. Now, in such a situation, you might want to consider using proxy mode just to bring down those file sizes and allow you to continue working without impeding your script performance too much. So proxy can be turned on in a couple different ways. First up here at the top, there's this icon right here. You can toggle it on and off. And then you can also press Control-P on the keyboard. If I go into the settings by pressing S, it brings up my project settings, and then you'll see the proxy modes uh, settings here as well. So you can turn this on, toggle it on and off here at this point. Looking down here at this particular read we have in here and this particular project, my output size should be uh, 4K. What I can do, I can either proxy in by using a scale, a scaling mode, or by uh, indicating a particular format uh, that I want to output to. Or if that's not listed in this list here, I can create a new format, work in proxy mode. For the most part, I'm just going to use scale. It's a lot easier. It does the math for me. Um, it'll automatically give me my resolution. So if I were to turn this on and say, uh, give me 25% of 4K, what's that resolution? I don't know off the top of my head, so I'm going to let Nuke decide for me and tell me what that is. I turn that on. It's 960 by 540. Great. You know, it saves me the trouble of having to create any kind of custom format size or figure out what that might be. So now I'm in proxy mode. And you can tell that this has changed from 4K to 960 by 540. If I toggle it off and on, control P, you'll see it goes back and forth. Right now, it's not currently reading from any other files outside of um, the main source file here, which we have. All it's doing, all Nuke is doing, is just taking that information and reducing it internally. Okay, it's not saving this, this little file anywhere, the reduction. It's all just happening on the fly in the script itself. Now you have the option of writing out this footage as a proxy footage, so that way you can then use it later on in a stored location and just reference from that. And in this demo, I've already done that. If I look over here at this right node, basically I have my full size resolution uh, render where I want to send that to. Then I have a proxy path where I'm going to send that render to. The proxy, it's going to write out based off of my settings in my, what I currently have set in my project settings. So whatever that may be, that's what the proxy is going to write out as. Now when I do this, if I am trying to write out my proxy file, this is not going to write out two separate files when I hit render. It's either going to write out the full res one, or it's going to write out the proxy files. To render out the proxy files, you actually have to have proxy turned on. So you want to make sure that's turned on, otherwise it's going to render out the full size source. So I want my proxy turned on. When I go to render, it's going to have a few options here. This use proxy, this is going to re refer to something else I'll talk about in just one second. From this point, you can just go ahead and hit OK. I'm not going to actually render it because I've already done that. It's going to render in the background render and kick out our proxy for us. Now, if I go back to my read node, you can see there is also a file path input here for proxy footage if it exists. So assuming that we already have written it out, which I have done here, and this one, I've actually just laid over the, the word proxy so that way we were able to tell the difference between the source and the proxy. So this is my proxy footage that I wrote out. I'm actually just going to take this location of where it's located and I'm going to paste that right into this read node. So now it's going to have an option of either using the full frame or full source, uh, full size format, or use my proxy format. Okay, from this one read node. So when I go to render and I want to use my proxy format from my file path here, that is when I would put click on use proxy and then it's going to refer to this proxy. Uh, file path right here. So the proxy settings, let me go ahead and open up my project settings again. Basically, if I look through this one, I'm viewing through my main source footage. 
have a few options. I've already talked about scale and format. So when the scale, you can you know adjust this on the fly. It's going to change my resolution for me. As I as I change the numbers here, you can see it's automatically doing the math for me. So I don't really have to worry about that format size. Now down here where it's read proxy files, we'll start off with never. So read proxy files is only re referring to if you have a file path here for proxy in each of the reads. Okay. It would actually be in, in right here. So this is the read file path. It's only referring to that. So never, if I set this to never, you'll see that it disappears. So it's not reading from my proxy file path in my read node, but I am still in proxy mode. So it gives me the lower resolution. So this is internally now nuke is doing its own thing. This is set to never. So it's not reading from the proxy path. When choosing if larger, this can be a little misleading because of the name, but it's basically going to use the smallest possible version that you have available as the proxy. So now I know I wrote the proxy out at 25% of its original format size. And that's what the scale is currently at. When it's referencing between which one is the smallest, it's not referencing between the proxy and the full size format. It's referencing between the proxy, the current proxy mode that you're in the 960 by 540 and any available proxy you might have in the proxy path. So with that being said, if I were to increase this scale, say to 26, you'll notice that my proxy disappears, my proxy footage that I was, have loaded into my read node, but we're still in proxy mode, okay? Because now at a proxy scale of 26%, I'm at 998 by 562, which is larger than my proxy footage that I wrote out, which happens to be, if I drop this back down, 960 by 540. So it's basically using the smaller of the sizes between the proxy that's in the, the footage path or the proxy that's being created by Nuke itself here. The smallest is right there. And anything in between or below that. Now, if I choose if nearest, it's basically going to say, all right, is my current setting closer to my proxy format size or is it closer to my full format size? Whatever one's closest to, it's going to use that one. So I can increase this up and I'm still in proxy, still using proxy mode up to about 49% right here. Okay. As soon as I hit 50%, it's on that dividing line. But it's like, okay, I might as well start using the full format size at this point. So I hit 50. I am now referencing um, my full format size here, but it's just still in proxy mode, reduced down to 1920 by 1080, rather than referencing my proxy footage and reducing that down or scaling it up at that point because this proxy footage is lower. So once again, if I decrease this just 1%, it is back in to referencing the proxy mode now at this point. So it's just using the nearest one in relation to the, the footage available. A couple things to note in here is you can also do a lot of functions that you normally would in uh, without proxy mode turned on. As far as tracking wise, you can track and you'll still get placements and points for that where you can apply uh, graphics or, or whatever you want to this. And I just did a quick one here, applying that to it. I tracked it in proxy mode, applied it, and it's one to one difference. If I turn the proxy mode off, I'll watch what we're currently in 7820, and actually change this back down to something smaller. All right, there we go. So we can see our proxy again. And if I toggle this off, you notice that the placement of that graphic on the cup still stays where it's at regardless of proxy. Now, one thing to note is if I say maybe add a grid warp onto here, and I try to draw out like my area of the grid warp that I want. So normally the grid warp would form over in the red box area, but because I'm in proxy mode, it kind of offsets it. So some nodes, some instances, you're going to get an offsetting effect because of the proxy mode. If that happens, what you would need to do first is just be uh, in normal mode, out of proxy mode or full output mode, I should say. 
do your say your set your grid where you want it to be then i can jump back into proxy mode and then work from there so some things might need to be done first in full format mode for it to work correctly okay so i'll leave you with one last way to kind of make use of your proxy footage if you have any proxy footage that you're actually using and that would be up here in the viewer uh, resolution basically by default, usually probably set to one to one. I'm just using the full size format at this point. Even if I drop it down to one to two, I'm still using full size format, but it's just been reduced down to 20 by 1080. Now, because I wrote out my proxy footage, I know at 25% uh, of the 4K footage, if I drop this down to one to four, then it's gonna start referencing my proxy footage in there. And this is gonna give me a lot better playback in my viewer when I'm trying to playback stuff. So if I were to drop it or bring this back up to one to one and try to play through this, we can see it, it's really taking its time trying to get through these frames. I'm not going to wait the whole time for this. So I'll stop that and we'll go back. I'm going to drop this down to the using the proxy footage now, referencing that. We'll see how much faster that is for playback. Okay, so this doesn't necessarily affect the footage that's being used in your script it's just more so for the viewer playback so if i were to write this out it's going to write out my full size format rather than my proxy remember to write out the proxy regardless of which resolution i'm at i would need to have proxy mode turned on to write the proxy file